Hello. This is a stretch of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal near Wigan. It's so peaceful here that it's difficult to imagine that in the past this canal was once as busy as that railway or that motorway. But if you look carefully enough, however, you can still find clues that remind us of how busy the canal was and what the canal was like in the past. Clues like this path along here. It wasn't just made for people to walk along, but for horses as well. It's called a towpath because horses towed, that is pulled, the boats along when canals were first built. This old photograph shows you one of the last boats to be towed by a horse on this canal. All along the canal, there are clues from the days when horses pulled the boats. Today, of course, the boats have diesel engines. Now, imagine a canal horse walking under this bridge, towing a boat. What do you think's happened here? There are a lot of these marks. Well, as the horse came through, the tow rope caught against the side of the bridge and wore it away. And so many horses passed under this bridge that the marks here are very deep. This old photograph shows you what I mean. Look how the tow rope catches the side of the bridge on the left there and wears it away. See the deep marks? And that's why this is here, a cast iron ring. Originally, this held a roller which came down here and this prevented the bridge being worn away. All that's left of it here is the top part. On some bridges you can still find rollers. This one's made from wood. Look how worn it is. Here's one made from cast iron, and it's not nearly so worn. It's not only on bridges that you can find the remains of rollers, but on walls as well. The canal turns a corner here, and on this wall, so that the wall isn't damaged by the tow rope, you can see they've built a number of rollers, one here and one here. Only the rings left, but if I look down here, yes, here it is, you can see the stone that once held the bottom ring. Only this ring is left now, and I think at some time the roller must have been worn, uh, because down here, and here's another one, are some rope marks. Now look again at the bridges. They'll tell you more about the past. See how narrow they are. When they were built long ago, and you can tell that from the date stones on many of them, well, there weren't big cranes or mechanical diggers as there are today. Once everything had to be done by hand. That's why the bridges are so narrow. It meant less work. But it also has meant that boats can only go through one at a time. Even today, boatmen going down to Liverpool warn others that they have right of way through the bridges by giving three loud shouts. Oi! 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 The warning was three loud cracks of the whip when horses pulled the boats. Now look what happens when the canal path changes sides or line. So that the boatman didn't have to untie his horse, they would build a special bridge called a change line bridge. The boatman would lead his horse up the slope. It was usually cobbled so that the horse could get a better grip on the slope, just as I can here. So up the path they'd go, over the bridge, and down the path onto the other side of the canal, without the boatman having to waste any time untying his horse. What do you think this is for? It's a stone slope in the side of the canal. The dog will give you a clue. Well, suppose you're a boatman and your horse fell in the canal. With sides as steep as this, it wouldn't be able to climb out. Now watch the dog. 
See, if you could guide your horse along to a stone slope like this, it could walk out like this dog is doing. And so they built stone slopes, they're called slipways, every so often along the canal bank. Normally, for safety, they have a wooden cover over them. This slipway has been open, and there is its wooden cover. Here, in Wigan, there are plenty of clues which show us how important the canal was when it was busy with boats coming and going from these now empty warehouses. The boats brought goods like sugar, flour, cotton and cement from Liverpool to be stored in the warehouses. Look how big they are. See how the water goes right under this old warehouse so that the goods could be loaded and offloaded more easily. This huge cotton mill is now a store mill with only 11 workers, but once over 500 people worked here spinning cotton. In those days, the cotton was brought from Liverpool by boat along the canal and unloaded here from the mill's own private wharf. There's the hoist which was used for taking up, hoisting, the bales of cotton into the mill. But it was coal that gave the boatmen most of their business. Coal from the local collieries was brought to the short canal piers and tipped into the boats, as you see here, filmed some years ago when the coal was taken by boat for the last time to the power station in Wigan. This is where there was once a pier. You can see how the canal bank's been raised up here to make a kind of platform. From this platform, coal was loaded into the boats. This old photograph shows you how the pier used to look. And in the past, families used to gather on this pier to board a pleasure boat for a day's outing down the canal, as you can see in this picture, based on an old photograph of the 1920s. Of course, people still go for day trips on the canal, but the boats no longer go from Wigan Pier. Today, nearly all the boats you see on the canal are pleasure boats. Most of the old working boats have been turned into pleasure boats. And you can see some of the old working boats rotting, unused by the canal banks. Because trains and lorries can carry goods much more quickly than canal boats. So here, in the heart of Wigan, all is quiet and empty, where once there would have been noise and movement. But look down there again. See the old cottages and gardens? People still live beside the canal as they did in the past. In these old cottages live the families of men who look after the canal. See how the cottages look out over the canal. Now see how these cottages, out in the country, also face the canal and not a road. And here, a whole little village has grown up around this part of the canal. This is what it was like when the working boat stopped here. You'll still see many public houses along the canal bank from the time when there were lots of boatmen needing to rest and have a drink. The inn signs and names are often clues to the past as well. There's usually a lot to see beside the locks which control the level of the water up and down, so letting the canals go over hills. 
and by the locks you'll often find lock keepers' cottages. Look carefully at the old windows. Why do you think one of them sticks out? Look how the windows stick out at the end of this lock keeper's house. Here there are big windows in the small building that sticks out. Why? Well, look how far you can see along the canal from the windows that stick out. In the old days, people had to pay to use the canal and the lock keeper didn't want to miss anyone. You've seen what the front was like. Now, what do you think was kept behind the lock keeper's house? Well, I'm in a stable. Just as cars need garages, so the canal horses needed stables. And you can sometimes find stables like these, at the back of lock keepers' houses, or at the back of canal side cottages. Not all stables have got as many clues in them as this one. Over there's the old feeding trough, and above it the wooden rack for the horses' hay. And up here's the iron hook on which the boatman would hang his horse's harness. This stable's still being used by the lock keeper to stable a friend's pony. When you buy old canal cottages, see if you can spot any old stables at the back. You'll probably find them being used as garages. Look up there. You can still see the opening to the old hayloft. And just inside the doorway is the old ladder going up to the loft. Well, I've shown you some of the clues that I found along the Wigan section of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. Clues like rollers and slipways and stables. The next time you're near a canal, have a careful look along the banks and see how many clues you can find. But remember, canals can be dangerous places So be sensible and take care.